If you're someone who often feels ungrounded or you are very sensitive and you often feel overwhelmed by all of the energies flying around interacting with yours or you are preparing to channel or preparing to do some other kinds of spiritual work which involve coming into contact with lots of high frequency energies and you just want to make sure that you are fully present in your own energy and in your body and fully grounded before you start to work. This is a great meditation, a great technique for preparing the way. And if you do feel thrown off balance or a little bit spaced out or a bit clumsy at certain points during the day if you feel overstimulated through sensitivity it's a good way to just get in touch with yourself again and just find that peace and balance so just close your eyes finding its way back to you in this present moment. Set your intention to bring your energy back from anywhere you've left it behind or scattered it earlier on throughout the day. Or if you're beginning this process in the morning, set your intention to allow all of the fragments that you've scattered through various realms throughout the night, just allow them all to come back to you now, so that you can walk through this reality with consciousness and with self-control. So take a nice big breath into your heart, into your body, feel the energy returning and also put the thought out that the energy comes back to you clean and clear and filled with high frequencies to recharge you and add to your empowerment as you walk this path of spiritual being expressed through a human and very earthly vehicle. So begin to get a sense of what that means. Feel the energies gathering within you and begin to open up now to a deeper connection with the divine energies which are waiting to come into your own energy and help you to ground even further. So put your thought out to that space above. The imagery of above is very useful because the sensation that we get when we want to connect with the divine is that we are climbing higher in frequency. So just as an image, see a beautiful bright white light coming down through the sky, through the clouds, through the roof of the building you're in, through the ceiling and in through the top of your head. Feel that divine loving light pouring down through your crown and feel a real sense you are beginning to embody your own spirit in allowing this divine higher aspect of yourself to come in to your physical experience. Feel it now drifting in through the top of your head, coming down down 
into your heart, into your solar plexus, coming all the way down into the sacral chakra, filling your hips. Feel it coming down into the base chakra, going down the legs, past the knees. Feel it heading towards your feet. You might feel your feet tingling. And if you feel a tingling or a warmth or a vibration in your feet, just understand that this is an indication that your energy is returning fully into your body. So just allow it to continue to flow. Feel that light pouring through your entire being now and surrounding you. Feel it rushing through all of your energy centers and touching every cell, every atom of your being, bringing you back to life. And feel it now going down a column of white light until it finds a beautiful place that's also filled with light. You might see this as a pink glowing light. And just recognize that this is the divine earthly quality that you will now begin to connect with. And you feel yourself connecting with the divine heavenly quality from above and the divine earthly quality below. And just have a sense that Archangel Michael and your angels, your guardian angels, are helping to find the right path through the center of the earth, to find the purest, clearest part that can energize you. Once you're there, imagine a beautiful sacred tree, a huge tree filled with divine light sparkling and shimmering and see this tree with roots going further down into infinity and feel this divine cord that goes from your feet searching to make a connection with the roots of this tree. Just allow yourself to be connected to this tree and stay quietly in this place until you feel completely grounded and ready to begin your day or to continue your activities. As we settle into the, the rhythm of a formal meditation through the day, develop the, the habit, the, um, the pattern of uh, 
a, a deliberate, conscious bringing of the attention to the feeling of the breath, coming in to sit here in the hall, establishing the, the meditation posture, sitting in a well-balanced, upright way, Checking the, the posture, the, the mood that we have, the feeling of uh, alertness or energy, interest, tiredness, distraction, focus. And setting the intention to bring the attention to the present using the the rhythm of the breathing, setting that as a clear, conscious intention to let the breath be the center of our world for this period of time. Steadily, resolutely, steering the attention in this way, and then as the mind drifts, wanders into sleepiness or Recollection, recreation of the past, imagining the future, whatever it might be. As steadily, patiently, we let go. Letting a sound just be a sound, letting a thought just be a thought, a feeling just being a feeling. A training the mind to to let those go, to not make anything out of each sensation or thought, mood that arises. Letting a pleasant feeling just be a pleasant feeling, unpleasant feeling just be a, an unpleasant feeling. Not adding anything to it, not writing a commentary about it. And to support this, uh, this training of the mind, this developing of this attitude, we can use the qualities of the breath itself. The exhalation is a natural letting go, a natural releasing, relinquishing. So as you notice your mind trying to get entangled in a story, getting caught in disliking or liking, and that's been noticed, and let the out-breath carry it away, let the exhalation be a, a support for releasing, letting go of that, letting that aversion go, letting that desire go, letting the past and future go, breathing them out, it's like breathing out the, the air, carbon dioxide from our lungs. Release it. Let it fade and dissolve. The in-breath is a natural invigoration. It's literally inspiring, breathing in. The in-breath helps to brighten, energize the mind. So let the in-breath be a way of supporting the quality of, of attention. Focusing, attending to this present reality. Waking up, being here with what's real.
remember this is an opportunity to be um, working with forgiveness and compassion for yourself. First day of the retreats, out of a, an active routine, traveling from far away, to suddenly shift into sitting still, being with the, the flow of, of thoughts and perceptions. It's only natural that the mind is going to be uh, active and busy, drifting here and there, do <coughs> dozing off into sleepiness, creating past and future. This is ordinary, natural for our mental habits to be this way. So it's a wonderful opportunity to be forgiving, to be kindly, patient, compassionate towards your own being. Not setting up a, uh, an attitude of contention against the mind, but as I was saying, just as if we were looking after a young child, gently, patiently, firmly uh, befriending and guiding. Coming from an attitude of, of uh, love and friendliness, a caring attention. So we are steering the mind, giving direction, just like helping a child to hold a pencil, helping them to make uh, marks on the paper, gently, patiently, carefully, showing how it's done. Exactly the same way, gently, patiently, carefully, compassionately, taking the attention off the proliferations about the future, recreations of the past, Gently letting go, releasing it, letting it dissolve, coming back to the present. The more that we establish these wholesome ways of working, this skillful attitude, then the more we are creating the environment for clear seeing. We're creating the environment for non-confusion, creating the environment for, for learning how not to be drawn by the, the promises and deceptions of, of our mental habits. So when the mind is agitated and confused, caught up in its projections, that we most easily get lost in uh, liking and disliking, and get swept up into hating and craving. The more we're able to see in a direct, simple, open way, to see in an unconfused way, then we're putting the odds in our favor. We're making it easier for the heart not to become confused, drawn in by the lies and the promises, the reactive patterns. steadily, patiently working in this way. We're helping to support a, uh, an attitude of equanimity, 
of non-reactivity towards like and dislike. Changing the attitude that we have to something that is more balanced, more spacious, more peaceful, more in tune with reality. To know a thought is just a thought, a feeling is just a feeling. A painful sensation is just a painful sensation. A pleasant one is just a pleasant one. That's all. No more, no less. Nothing to add on to it. Nothing to, to wipe out. These are just patterns of nature. <clears throat> known as simple, natural patterns of perception. Coming, going, changing. That's all. <clears throat>